Live actions, you love them, you hate them. Streaming services can't seem to get enough of them. Hello everyone, I'm Finn. Welcome back to Finn Films. Join me today as we discuss one of the riskiest shows to come out in years, Amazon Prime's live action adaptation of the Fallout video game series. So over the last few years, we've seen kind of a meteoric rise of the live action series. Now, live actions are really nothing new, whether they are live action adaptations of video games or animated series, aka animes. Studios all across the world have been attempting to get the live action right for years now with, well, generally piss poor results. But you can really understand the appeal, especially from the studio side, in wanting to make these live actions. Like, ultimately, the goal is to tap into the original fan base, the fan base of the series. Whether it's a game like The Last of Us, or an anime like DBZ, or an animated show like Avatar The Last Airbender, ultimately the goal is to translate the fan base into watchers of your movie or your streaming series. Unfortunately, though, most of the live-action adaptations that have been made are really mediocre at best and generally just piss-poor, though occasionally a studio will manage to get a live-action right. Over the last few years, we've seen streaming services really go, like, all-in on the live-action as a concept. I mean, Netflix has been making live-actions for, like, years now, most of which are, well... Not good. <laughs> like, in the last few years alone, we've seen some really major live-action productions, like Hulu's live-action adaptation of The Last of Us video game, which was generally pretty amazing. And then on the other end of the spectrum, we have Paramount's live-action of the Halo video game series, which... Well, it really missed the mark. Netflix as well have been seemingly really trying to get their shit together when it comes to live action, as in the last year alone, we've seen them release like really three major live actions with pretty high freaking budgets. Such live actions such as the One Piece live action, then the Yu Yu Hakusho live action, and then most recently the Avatar The Last Airbender live action. Yeah, Netflix really wants us to forget their blunders of the past, but we're never gonna let them live down that Death Note live action, are we? Now though, we seemingly have have a new challenger approaching getting involved in the live action wars as Amazon Prime Video recently announced that on April 11th they will be releasing their live action adaptation of the Fallout video game series. Now this is both equally exciting as it is worrisome at the exact same time. I mean Bethesda haven't released like an acceptable Fallout game since Fallout 4 and they haven't released a good Fallout game since Fallout 3, and some would even go as far as to say since Fallout New Vegas. What are you doing? Get your shit together, Todd. Speaking of Todd, the main man behind Bethesda Studios, a man who has turned into a walking meme because of internet historian, did you know that he is actually working as one of the executive producers on the Fallout Live action? God save us all. So if somehow you're unaware, Fallout is a Bethesda game series which tells the story of a post-apocalyptic nuclear disaster world. Generally, you play the game as a vault dweller, a group of people who manage to survive this nuclear fallout by living in underground societies known as vaults. These games are classic examples of Bethesda role-playing games where the player must venture out into this nuclear wasteland encountering all sorts of creatures and monsters, as well as the many people and factions who are all trying to survive in this post-apocalyptic world. The Amazon Fallout live action is seemingly following this rough Fallout kind of gameplay blueprint as the main character in the show in the series is a vault dweller who ventures out into the wasteland to the world exploring the brutal and unforgiving wasteland that is a post-apocalyptic Los Angeles. Now before we go like too doomer on the Fallout Amazon series there are some signs that show that this show might just have the potential to actually be good, at the very least, it shouldn't be hot garbage. First and foremost is the casting, starting with our main character, Lucy McLean, which is played by Ella Purnell, who is probably best known, at least to me, as the voice of Jinx in Arcane. As well as our second main character, the Ghoul, who is played by Walton Goggins. Goggin is probably best known for his roles in Django Unchained and his really amazing performance as Chris Mannix in The Hateful Eight. And I have a really strong feeling that Goggins will easily be the standout performer 
performer of the Fallout live action, and all of his scenes will probably end up being the best parts of the Fallout live action. It also probably helps because he by far plays the most interesting character, the ghoul. Ghouls being humans who have been warped through massive levels of radiation. Most have completely lost their mind and gone mad and feral, but some are able to retain their humanity, as is the case with Goggin's character, who is a gunslinger and a bounty hunter that has been alive since the bombs dropped. The other kind of shining beacons of hope that could actually lead to the Fallout live action being good come in the forms of their other executive producers. No, I'm not talking about Todd Howard here. If anything, Todd's involvement in the series makes me uh, a bit worried. I can only hope that he is there in order to make sure that the series is somewhat accurate to the Fallout world and they don't let him get too hands on. No, I'm referring to two of the other executive producers, Lisa Joy and her husband, Jonathan Nolan. Joy is probably best known for her work as a producer on the hit series Westworld, along with her husband, Nolan, who besides being famous for being Christopher Nolan's brother, has also worked on Westworld along with the Dark Knight series, as well as The Prestige and many other of Christopher Nolan's notable works and movies. So with these two involved in the series, it does give me hope that the Fallout live action will actually have a compelling, interesting story, as well as an accurate um, Fallout atmosphere. Bethesda as a game studio, when they do things right, which lately has been pretty rare, are some of the best at the business when creating compelling RPGs, primarily in their world building, the atmosphere of their games, as well as the compelling stories that they create, and the interesting and diverse characters that inhabit their worlds. For me, I don't really play a Bethesda game for its gameplay mechanics. No, you, you play a Bethesda game like Elder Scrolls Oblivion or Fallout New Vegas to get immersed into a world, to get immersed into a story. All of these things, I think, actually bode well for the Fallout live action series, as unlike many other live action adaptations, the Fallout live action has the benefit of not adapting a already told story one to one, like in the case of One Piece or Avatar The Last Airbender. What they are really doing with the Fallout live action is trying to adapt a world, adapt a feeling, adapt an experience. The story itself and the characters who occupy said world are brand new, specifically written for this live action, for this story. Now, this could either be a really good thing or a really bad thing. As I just said, Bethesda, when they're on their A game, which has not been often lately, have the ability to create a compelling, interesting story filled with really awesome, fleshed out characters. So, the the question is, will the Fallout live action be another Fallout New Vegas, or will it be a dumpster fire like Fallout 76? Personally, I don't expect the Fallout live action to be horrible. At worst, I think it will probably just be like mid, and I expect the visuals and the atmosphere of the world to be on point, as they do have a massive Amazon budget. So there's really no excuse when it comes to the looks of this show. It should look amazing, and as well, the talented producers are sure should be able to capture the unique world of Fallout in a live action series. My doubts about this show really solely rest on the quality of the story that they are going to try to tell within the Fallout universe. One of the things that really worries me about this show is it seems like they're going to be different directors for different episodes of the show. If we take a look at the Wikipedia, we can see that now, at least at the time of recording, that Jonathan Nolan is directing the first three episodes, and then um, everything else is listed as TBA which makes me fear that the show is going to start off strong under the direction of Nolan. Uh, and then as the show continues past episode three, it might experience a sudden dramatic drop off in quality. Of course, at the moment, at the time of recording, all of this is basically pure speculation. But personally, I I'm not going to get my hopes up when it comes to the Fallout live action. I doubt that it will be horrible, like as bad as the Halo live action or like the M. Night Shyamalan live action Avatar movie. But I would be shocked if this show turns out to be as good as the Last of Us live action or like the Roroni Kenshin live action movies, which are generally considered to be the best live actions like ever made of all time. I guess though that we're just gonna have to wait until April 11th though to find out. As always guys, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video and learn something new, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know in the comment section down below what your thoughts are for the uh, Fallout live action. Do you think it's gonna be good? Do you think it's gonna be hot trash? Let me know in the comment section down 
down below. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next one. Expect some more Fallout live action content uh, after April 11th. And if you did enjoy this video, then why don't you check out one of the other videos on screen now, like our mini videos over the Avatar The Last Airbender live action. And as always, I hope to see you in the next one. Drink your water, hug your mother. Until next time, peace, love, adieu.